Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's continue our trek through World 1 with 1-4 here and I'm really, really tempted to take a hit to get rid of my shell suit here. Um, if you press down on slopes you can slide into enemies like that with ease. Holy mother of pearl. <laughs> and I wonder if I should be using this because this kind of kind of breaks levels. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to destroy those blocks because I need to get down there, so I'm just going to wait until this runs out here. As fun as the Mega Mushroom is, its destructive powers know no bounds. It knows no secret exits. And here we go, this is a new power-up. What happened to my D-pad? <laughs> That's a new power-up known as a Mini Mushroom, and I gotta go back into the stage again. Yeah, what ha I think the system must have lagged or something like that, and I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's not a big deal, because I, I, don't have to rest <laughs> I don't have to restart all that much, but it, it's something that happened. It's, it's something. Anyway, let's, let's try not to lose lives here and actually try to make some, make some progress here. And, oh, that's kind of what I need. Yeah. It's kind of nice to have a mini mushroom in reserve, because uh, of the... Uh, difficulty of finding these. Oh, by the way, uh, when you are mini Mario, you can't like regular jump on enemies. You actually gotta ground pound them in order to um, uh, knock them around like that or, or kill them or something like that. Uh, I only got that mushroom because I know I'm gonna get a uh, tiny mushroom in this upcoming box here. And oh, I try to hit the Koopa underneath the box. I want to be all fancy. Anyway, you need mush mini mushrooms to fit into small spaces like this and to get into tiny pipes like this. And as Mini Mario, you can actually run across the surface of water like that. And yeah, pretty dang nice overall. And you can use the Mini Mushroom to um, skip through a lot of levels, but be warned, you are as vulnerable as you are when you are Tiny Mario, you know, like regular Mario, as you will die in one hit. So it's, and you're also very floaty, so you might not be used to the controls. So it's one of those sorts of trade-offs where you can skip a lot, but it might not be worth the risk. <laughs> oh no, I want that, I want that! Actually, maybe I don't, because I think there's something later in the level that I need, um... Uh, that I need a... Oh, I actually need to get down there. Oh, poopers! Ah, this is not going well. <laughs> I got the midpoint. Anytime you see that flag fly out at the, the middle of the screen there, that's a midpoint. And if you die, you restart at that point in the level. I didn't explain that in the last part. It's not really a big deal that I didn't. But yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, I figured I'd have to explain it sometime. <laughs> I am the walkthrough guy anyway. Anyway, throwing a shell down here will cause a, uh, a pachinko sort of game to start going on here. And jump down here to get that life. Oh! Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's fine. I'm gonna need to be small to get into a spot anyway. And you want that shell to destroy all those blocks, so don't scroll the shell off screen by mistake. You want to go inside this pipe, and you can't do that until it destroys all the blocks. Um, see these coins? Don't get those coins this time. See this P-switch? P-switch changes blocks to coins and vice versa. Look at that. You made platforms, and you can get that star coin. And notice that one down here didn't change, that's because it is a special block that you can hit multiple times. It doesn't change all blocks, basically, those P-switches. There's a, a lot of stuff P-switches can do, actually, including making... Um, oh, I, I would have missed the coin if I didn't go back there. Including making blue coins appear, uh, but that's something we'll see, actually, probably very shortly. Uh, anyway, I want to run across this gap, which is pract I mean, I don't- I'm not even sure if you can get through there, unless- I mean, if you're a bigger Mario. Because you can easily run across one square of gaps if you hold the Y button when you run across them. It's perfectly safe to do so, so don't worry. But if you're big Mario and you're trying to, like, slide jump through that, it's- I don't know. It, can you do that? <laughs> Maybe you'd have to throw a shell underneath there or something to get it. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm regular Mario, so I'm fine with uh, my current status of size, so no big deal. Woo! And 1-4 one is 100%ed. There we go. Now... Gonna open up that path, but we actually have a split path over here. Remember, I'm gonna save these signs for later. Um, whenever you see a Mega Mushroom House, like the one that I unlocked, 
at the start here you'll get a mega mushroom from them every single time in your reserve so um, it's not like the item houses where you have to play a roulette game in order to choose your item you all always get a mega mushroom so if you want mega mushrooms at specific times remember to save those houses and uh, yeah I'm gonna save these uh, um, these coin barricades here until I want to save the game so I'm gonna go over to 1-5 right here right now don't worry I'm gonna go take the other path later um, when I go and play that level the watery level down there and this is pretty much the bouncy theme level the whole thing is about bouncing <laughs> uh, you can jump at the points that you touch it and you'll be able to get more height otherwise you jump about this high so get used to the timing of that so that you can collect star coins like that with ease it's not difficult timing or anything like that it's just something that you've got to um, get used to I suppose especially when this sort of bouncy platform thing gets harder and harder as you go as you know you come across other ones um, these sorts of platforms they're like weighted like well, I don't, I don't want to say weighted, it's like when you push down on one side, the other it goes up. And if you get all the way down to the bottom, they actually break off and you get points for it. That can be pretty dangerous if you don't know what's coming. <laughs> um, anyway, one of these I want to get, uh, th this one right here, I want to get relatively high so I can enter that pipe by pressing up. Yeah, you can press up to enter doors and pipes. And find a bonus area with a rather difficult to stay on mushroom actually. Don't fall in holes. You won't die if you fall in the hole, but you don't want to fall in a hole just yet. See, when you're, whenever you're in one of these sorts of coin heaven stages, you don't, you can fall down holes safely, but it'll end these coin mini mini games of sorts. So, don't do that if you can help it. <laughs> and that is the pipe that I went into. So we have reached all all, all three coins before the midpoint. Really, never noticed that before. Ooh, ooh, oh yeah. Powering up once again. It's a Super Saiyan. Oh, this is a kind of a red coin trickery. So I gotta get underneath the mushrooms and the bounciness doesn't really let me do that easily. <laughs> but I got it. No big deal. And let's continue on the level. And hold on, is there anything up there? No, it just looked like that that those coins might be indicating something. Uh, this is a coin barrage if you can wedge yourself in there as Yes, big Mario. Yeah! And you also might be able to get mushrooms out of this. But I'm gonna get the last mushroom that comes out of these. Just because, uh, you know, I don't need the other ones. I wanted to get more coins out of that. Oh, it's kind of hard to get in there, so I thought, I really feel like getting getting out of there just for coins. <laughs> I mean, just for mushrooms and points, excuse me. But I'm gonna get another one later. And there we go! 1-5! Complete 100%. Now, it's going to lead over to the castle, but I'm not ready to go there just yet. I'm going to go over to the life house down there by paying five star coins. And see if we can reach that elusive, okay, not so elusive, 99 number that I always seem to hit in my new Super Mario Brothers walkthroughs. Okay, we got another one of these. Let's see what we can get this time. It's the exact same amounts. <laughs> But um, if you get the times two before something else, you won't be able to multiply a uh, C like that. Now I'm not going to be able to multiply that times three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. oh I should have hit number five. <sighs> but yeah, you want to get the times two as late as possible in your pickings, but you never know when it's going to pop up. It's, it's entirely a guessing game. But uh, yeah. Anyway, now let's take this path. Which leads to an underwater level. Oh yes, this is where the game introduces you to swimming if you should decide to take this path. Level 1-A. Yeah, alternate paths are lettered instead of numbered. So, let's go. And I'll set there's a pipe leading to the water. And I'll explain swimming controls when we get under there. Basically, holding the Y button doesn't really do anything. <laughs> 
Uh, holding up or down also doesn't really do anything, but you can press the jump button to swim and press left and right to move. Very simple. By the way, these fish are known as cheap cheeps, and they will hurt you if they touch you, despite their harmless looking appearance, but you can kill them easily by shooting them with fireballs. Oh shoot, I went too far! It started the auto scroll parts. Ah, that's fine. Whenever you're in an auto scroll area, you cannot go backwards. And yeah, that's, I, I kind of missed out on that fire flower because of that, but that's okay. It's not not like it's going to destroy my run in the level or anything like that. Uh, these shark enemies that I'm killing here are known as sushi. I think they're the same shark-like things that appeared in Super Mario 64. Anyway, here's the alternate use of P-switches, causing blue coins to appear. Let's see if I can get all of them. This is kind of a challenging one to get them all in, and I did it! Yeah! In other uh, new Super Mario Brothers games, they give you an applause if you should collect all the coins in time. Oh no no, oh I, I hate this. Um, <laughs> what they do is they use invisible coin blocks to keep you away from that star coin, but I got, uh, but I got through it anyway, uh, without hitting any more than just that one. And going off that pipe leads to star coin number two. Anything in those? No, wow, that's not really much of a bonus now, is it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I needed to come here for the star coin, but for a secret area, it's sure, sure chintzy. <laughs> All right, moving on. And also, the fish dance to the music. Well, they twirl to the music. Um, I wonder if I should get a, try getting a star here. Oh, I missed it. I'm just going to ignore that shell because it's not helpful underwater. E. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to get a star. Stars are, they grant you invincibility temporarily, and I wanted to show that off, but I'm sure I'll be able to show you some other star later on. Oh, almost did not get that. Bloop. Yeah, the, you, these uh, sushi enemies are normally invulnerable, but they, uh, like, if you can't touch them just like you can't touch cheap cheap, so they're like a larger uh, obstacle than a cheap cheap is. And yeah, by the way, in case you didn't realize, there's actually a current coming out of those pipes. That's what that's those bubbles that you see coming out of the pipes there. They're indicating that they're pushing you around. And you gotta get ahead of the game here, because you gotta get inside that cove before you lose the opportunity to get that star coin there before it goes off screen. Unless you're a small Mario, but you can just get yourself between the top of the screen and uh, the rock or coral or whatever the heck that is there uh, with ease. And ooh, this is... It's gonna be easy to get to the top of the flagpole or not. Wow, I thought it was at maximum speed there. Maybe I didn't get uh, uh, close enough to the edge uh, when I was at full speed there, like I thought I did. It's kind of hard to get the feel of that, but that's okay. It's a, it's like a bonus dealio thing of a Bob more than anything, so it's not that um, much of an issue. Another one of those item roulette houses here, which again I'm going to um, save for when I need power ups. So in that case, I'm going to go over to one dash castle and start the first lava stage in the game. By the way, castle music in this game is really, really awesome. One of my favorite Mario tunes in the entire franchise's history, actually. Um, these ropes, they give you a higher jump than usual when you're at their lowest point. So you can use this to find stuff in the level, and believe me, they will hide stuff in high spots in this level just because you can bounce off of ropes. <laughs> just be on the lookout for a high pipe. Don't get squished by spikes. That would be bad. Love. Love this song. So, so much. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to get left behind because I'll just burn a lot of time and I'm thinking of the walkthrough speed and yeah. Now you gotta wait around here and this is where the game sort of kind of introduced you to wall kicks because there's no other way to get up here unless you use wall kicks. So remember, when you want to do wall kick, push against the wall you want to kick off of and hit the jump button. It's a rhythmic thing, so yeah. You Actually, that's a pretty good place to get the hang of them because it's pretty safe to do wall kicks even with the spikes around because you know they're below you. And they're out of the way. And this star coin looked treacherous, but no, if you wait long enough, uh, a platform will appear underneath it by those tricky, tricky moving blocks. And that one doesn't sink in the lava, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, I missed something. I went a little too far. Looking for a pipe high up in the ceiling. By the way, if a dry bone's head falls off of a platform, it takes longer for it to recover. Where the heck is. Oh. 
Where is E? Come on now. Up there it is. The camera is just not cooperating with me. Come on. E. Oh wait, that's right. I have to be Big Mario in order for this. Oh yeah, and you can't stay on those for too long. <laughs> uh, I I had an issue there doing that because I'm playing this on an emulator and I had to take my hand off the controller to um, get myself a power up. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, you won't be able to get to spring quite as high when you're small Mario, and that's that's why I had issues getting up to that pipe after I took hits. And anyway, gotta get up. There we go. And now I can get this super secret star coin. I didn't lose all that much progress by uh, falling off the rope there. Uh, but yeah, if you don't move on a rope for an extended period of time, you will fall off it into whatever is below it. In this case, it was lava, which is an insta-kill. Down is death, people. When will you ever learn that? When? When? Anyway. This is quite the atmosphere change, isn't it? Classic Bowser battle! Uh, if I had a fire flower, uh, fire flower up, power up, I could demonstrate killing Bowser with the fire flower. But since I don't have it, I'm just gonna, you know, jump over him and hit the switch, which does the same thing as the axe in the original Mario Brothers on the NES, and that's pretty morbid. <laughs> I mean, Bowser's skin just like melted off of him, and he was still alive, so that had to be pretty dang painful. Anyway, I will save that game, and I'm going to go back to World 1 to show you something. When you get all the star coins in a world, you'll see a little thingamabob on the bottom screen here that says, Completes! Yep, so that means World 1 is 100% complete. Well, I shouldn't say that, because you actually gotta do other stuff in these stages, like go in the uh, mushroom houses to complete them and get all the stars on, the sa on your save file that you possibly can do. Uh, but I'll do that last, because as I said, I want to save power-ups for later on. And anyway, I'm gonna go defeat Bowser with fireballs, if you don't mind. You would think that what happened to Bowser would have just annihilated him, but no, no, don't worry, he's back. <laughs> Alright, so I got two fire flowers here, which should be plenty for defeating him with fireballs. Yep, just do that, and the same thing will happen. <laughs> Look at that, Mario is just watching his demise. That is just so, so mean. <laughs> Anyway, even though Bowser is gone, you still have to hit the sw switch to end the stage. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but that's how it works. Because, you know, that gate, I guess, got it open too. And with that, I am going to end off the part here, because I wanted to show that. <laughs> with that, that, I already said with that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to end off the part here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we start World 2.